he doesn't fear much about what can happen. He doesn't see the negative or the limitations of that idea. He just focuses on the positive thing. He's a visionary. Gerardo is one of the most important conservationist scientists in the world. You are drawn to him and you are drawn to listening to him. He knows what he's talking about and you're going to have a good time, you're going to laugh a lot. <laughs> For over 20 years, Gerardo Ceballos has fought to preserve the vast and diverse ecosystems of Mexico. He began his career focusing on mammals. That work led to a discovery that made him broaden his conservation plan. Gerardo's approach to conservation is really interesting. It's not focused on one species or one, just one problem. It's only using the species as tools for conservation planning. So the idea at the end is to save as much biodiversity as possible. Estos con perritos? Mexico is one of the three most uh, biodiverse countries on Earth. We try to complement protected area systems. In that sense, we're saving thousands and thousands of species. In 1991, Ceballos worked to create Mexico's first Endangered Species Act, and through it, protect over 4,000 species and 1.5% of the country's landmass. One area of Mexico Ceballos and his core team have focused on is the Janos Reserve, a grassland region in the north where the ecological balance is tested by subsistence farmers, cattle ranching and industrial farming practices. One thing leads to another. You see that they are putting crops in the Prairie Dog Towns. How do you stop that? They are a very powerful group, the farmers. Mexico is a unique country in many, many senses because you have tons of species and so much biodiversity, but then also you have all the cultural part. People live from the forest, so you have to tackle both issues. and Sonora, yeah. What we have been doing is uh, developing uh, economic activities that are uh, sustainable on the one hand, and on the other hand, that are uh, compatible with conservation. Keystone species are a crucial component to understanding what makes a particular ecosystem tick. In the mid-1990s, Ceballos began to study the jaguar, an elusive cat believed to be plentiful in the Yucatan Peninsula region of Mexico. We didn't know anything about jaguars in Mexico and they were becoming extinct. We organized the National Jaguar Census. We have been able to convince the government to tackle the main problems that are affecting the jaguars. This is a jaguar track. It's one of the most successful projects in the world in jaguars in the world. And what we do here is just tracking jaguars in the forest. We can get the information about health, about genetics, and many other issues about how, how the jaguar population is actually improving. We know a lot of the biology of the jaguar, the natural history of the jaguar. And now we know how many animals in all the reserves and inside or outside of the reserve. In Mexico, he's highly regarded by the government, from ministers of the environment to uh, governors. He has had a lot of influence. He has helped to create several reserves or expand uh, other reserves. And that's a work that uh, should last probably a hundred years and will benefit thousands of people. How do I keep optimistic in the face of so many challenges? It's hard to tell. The joy of working with wildlife gives me so much inspiration that I keep on going. It is something I think you are born with, you know. To think that my work is helping plants and animals to survive, is helping the local people, and it's also giving a better chance for my children to be able to see this when they grow up. I mean, I, I feel at peace.